right, Lee? This is it. This is your moment. You've trained your whole life for this. Now it's time to sink or swim. To float or boat. To dive or not to dive. That is the question. And I'm gonna dive. A perfect 10 if you ask me. But there are some pro divers around here, so I might hit them up for some tips. And who better to ask than Maddie, who has won an Olympic medal in diving. So Maddie, um, as an expert in the sport of diving, what did you think about my dive back there? Look, I'm not gonna lie, it was a bit of a bomb, but <laughs> may need a bit of work, so let's we'll see how we go. Okay, well, what do you think are some of the main things I got wrong there? Um, <laughs> For a start, this isn't a, a bummy competition. Mm -hmm. I know sometimes big splashes are impressive, but in diving, we want to try and make as small splash as possible. Oh, okay, so my motto, no waves, no glory, is actually not a good one. For no, diving. not at all. Not for diving, unfortunately. So what's, what's the key to a really clean entry? Uh, it's all about being as straight as you can and as vertical as you can when you're going through the water. And so you want to be able to squeeze your body and be able to go through the water like a pin, a pin drop. So to train for this, are you just going off the board over and over and over again? Most of the time. So we, sp oh, we spend about 40% of the time in the water and 60% of the time in the dry land. So we have um, like trampolines and dry woods that we can use to train our um, aerial skills in the dry land before we have to take them into the pool. Wow. Okay. So you're actually training for in the water on dry land. Yeah. It's really important because you don't want to just throw yourself off the board and throw yourself off 10 meter before, you know, trying to figure out how to um, count how many somersaults you're able to do. So it's really important to be able to do the stuff in dry land beforehand um, to get your confidence up. And combined with all that elite physical fitness, a diver needs to utilise physics as well. At the start of the dive, the diver must give themselves enough forward velocity to clear the board they've just jumped off. They also need to get as much height as possible to complete all the twists and turns required before hitting the water. When they leap off the platform, the diver will give themselves a certain amount of angular movement, which allows them to rotate. This angular momentum is conserved throughout the duration of the dive, but the diver can increase their rotational speed by reducing their moment of inertia, which is... Hmm, maybe we can get an expert to explain. So the moment of inertia is, a, is a basically a concept around speed of rotation. So the rotation speed is set by the angle of takeoff and what goes on at takeoff. And once airborne, we can't change that, but we can actually speed them up and slow them down in essence by making them smaller and bigger. Um, so the, the smaller they are around their centre of gravity, the faster they spin and the longer they are, the slower that rotation. And that's actually how we control all the types of dives uh, once they're in the air. And there's a lot of different types of diving. I might be just a little way away from this kind of technique, but it's always good to have a goal. And for a professional diver, the goal is getting a perfect 10 out of 10. And what's the highest score you've ever had? I've never got a 10 before, <laughs> um, so, but I've got a couple of nines, mm -hmm. but so. So fingers crossed you'll get yeah, a 10. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm training for. I'm training to get a 10. So. Well, all the best. Thank you. I hope to get a one one day. Hey, if you get off the board, you'll get something. Okay, good, 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 good.